Gaming Bolt presents 14 things you need to know before you buy Yakuza 6. It's been a long time coming, but the Yakuza series has well and truly found a strong footing with the masses. It's always been a franchise with a huge following in Japan, but with the incredible Yakuza 0's launch last year, which was then followed up with Yakuza Kiwami, the series now has the kind of love and adoration from the western audience it always deserved. And there's a lot more to come still. Yakuza 6 The Song of Life launches in the West for the PS4 in April, and based on everything that we've seen of the game, it looks like a worthy follow-up. In this feature, we're going to take a look at 14 pieces of information that have got us quite excited to get our hands on Kiryu's next adventure. The Setup Yakuza 6 is going to be the conclusion to Kiryu's story, so obviously we expect it to be a monumentous one. While Kiryu recovers from the injuries he sustained in Yakuza 5, he is arrested by the police and he decides to go willingly to prison, do his time, and then spend time with his adoptive children. When he comes out three years later, he finds that his adoptive daughter, Haruka, is in a coma in a hospital, while also having given birth to a baby boy. Kiryu decides to travel to Hiroshima to discover just what Haruka was up to while he was in prison for three years. The Setting Yakuza 6 is going to be an open world game just like all Yakuza games before it. What locations will the players be exploring exactly? Well, once again, the city of Kamurochu will be featured quite prominently in Yakuza 6, a location fans of the series will be quite familiar with. In addition to that, the city of Anomichi Jingaicho in Hiroshima will also be an in-game location for players to explore and take quests in. Combat Combat is, of course, one of the most fundamental aspects of any Yakuza game, and obviously that's not going to change in the upcoming title. In fact, the battle system in Yakuza 6 has actually received a number of upgrades. For instance, all characters involved in fights will now react to the impact of hits and collisions more realistically, depending on whether they're dodging, guarding, or attacking. Similarly, characters will now also react to the surroundings and terrain with more realism, essentially putting players in the middle of what's being described as a set of an action movie. There seems to be a much larger focus on physics in general, which sounds even more exciting. Just imagine the havoc. Abilities Yakuza players will also be familiar with the fact that Kiryu's skills and abilities as a brawler are completely upgradable, and that will once again be the case in Yakuza 6, though this time it looks like things are going to be taken a step further. There will of course be your usual upgrades that increase your combo speed or improve your counterattack for instance. In addition to that, there's also the new Ultimate Heat Mode, which will temporarily give Kiryu quite a lot of exclusive abilities and techniques, included but not limited to not taking recoil from enemy attacks and being able to use huge objects as weapons that you would not otherwise be able to use in regular combat. Side Quests Side quests were, without a doubt, one of Yakuza 0's highlights, and fans of the series will tell you that side quests have always been one of its strong points, with all of their wacky and bizarre charm and personality. We expect nothing less from Yakuza 6, and sure enough, based on what we've seen and heard of the game so far, it sounds like there will be plenty of side activities and quests for players to take part in. What's even more exciting to hear is that all side quests in Yakuza 6 are now going to be completely voice acted. Clan Creator Yakuza 6 is going to include a full-blown strategy-style minigame in the form of the new Clan Creator. With the Clan Creator, players will be able to form custom clans with pools of their favorite Yakuza characters, including the likes of Kiryu, Akiyama, and Daigo, and pit them in battles on the streets against their friends' clans. These fights will play out like top-down RTS battles, while players will be able to spend experience points to level up and upgrade their clan leaders. It definitely sounds like something players can potentially sink a lot of time into. Minigames Yakuza is known for its slew of minigames, so obviously we're expecting a lot in this area from Yakuza 6 as well. Other than the Clan Creator minigame that we've already spoken of, there's going to be a lot more to sink our teeth into. Minigames such as darts, bowling, and karaoke will of course be returning. More interestingly though, players will be able to play actual old school games in minigames within Yakuza 6. These will include the likes of Virtual Fighter 5, Puyo Puyo, Outrun, and more. Taking selfies. Here's something we never knew we wanted in a Yakuza game, but now that we know about it, we're really glad we're getting it. Yakuza 6 will allow players to pull out Kiryu's phone and click as many selfies as you want, its own unique take on photo mode, if you will. So if you see something hilarious or completely weird in the game, and considering the fact that this is a Yakuza game, you probably will, don't forget to take a selfie. 
Dragon Engine Yakuza 6 is looking to make a significant jump over its predecessors from a technical point of view. How is it going to do that? It's built on a new PS4 dedicated Dragon Engine. Using the new engine, the game is looking to achieve a more photorealistic look, and based on the gameplay footage that we've seen, it definitely looks quite impressive. The visuals have definitely received a significant upgrade from the character models and the lighting to the shadows and the reflections. No more loading screens. There are more improvements on the technical front as well. While Yakuza fans have always been used to starting at a loading screen whenever they enter any shops or structures, that will no longer be the case in the upcoming game. Exploring in Yakuza 6 is going to be a lot more seamless, with no loading screens breaking the flow and separating interiors of buildings such as shops and restaurants from the open world. Takeshi Kitano Interestingly enough, Takeshi Kitano is going to be an actual in-game character in Yakuza 6. And he's not been cast to play some character, no, he's appearing as himself. For those of you who don't know who he is, Kitano is, among other things, a comedian and television personality in Japan where he is mostly known by his stage name, Beat Takeshi. It should be interesting to see how he's involved in the game and in how much capacity. Japan Pro Wrestlers Kitano won't be the only real-life Japanese celebrity who will be appearing in Yakuza 6, though. New Japan Pro Wrestling stars Hiroshi Tanahashi, Kazuchiko Okada, Hiroyoshi Tenzin, Tetsuyu Naito, Satoshi Kojima, and Toru Yano will all be in Yakuza 6, and they'll apparently be appearing in-game as members of a rival gang. So yeah, you'll come across fights against actual real-life wrestlers in the game, and no, we're not joking. Oh, and they will also be included as characters in the Clan Creator minigame, so there's that as well. Reception in Japan Yakuza 6 has been playable for Japanese audiences for a while now, and reception there for the game has mostly been positive. Famitsu gave the game a combined score of 39 out of 40, which is obviously quite impressive, while those who have played imported copies of the game have had plenty of positive things to say about its story and characters. Reaction to the upgraded combat system has also, for the most part, been positive. Though when things do change, there's bound to be some negative reaction as well, most of which in this case seems to be centered on the new realistic physics mechanics. It remains to be seen just how much of that is accurate though. PS4 Pro Support Like most major games that are released for the PS4 these days, Yakuza 6 will have PS4 Pro enhancements. That much Sega has announced. What they haven't confirmed though is just what exactly those enhancements will be. It has been confirmed that the game will have a high resolution on the Pro, but of course, the specifics regarding that remain unknown. Let's hope it's more than just a cursory upgrade for the purposes of checking a box, though. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.